So am I still waiting for this world to stop. On Cooper Ridge football ground in Mumbai here on 10th of uh, Vincent as well as Abhishek Yadav. For Pune FC, missing a couple of first team regulars. Uh, Chika Wali is out uh, from the defence because of two yellow cards. And Duhu Pierre. As I said earlier, that they're currently in 7th position but they've got a game. Pune FC are in their away colours of white up against uh, white. The visiting side, Pune FC in white, playing from left to right on your uh, TV. Capitalise on that, uh, possibly come up with a goal or two. Now this is Edmar, who's also a huge threat as far as Pune FC are concerned. He, shot, or he was looking to, to play that ball across the face of goal, but he did well to beat the defender. He did to, to play it across, but maybe just a little bit too close to the keeper. But promising start. There is a Mumbai FC player down injured now. Can't see who that is at the moment. Is most likely uh, to be Bernard there. But uh, Edmar, the yeah. first time that we saw him in action uh, back in October in the opening encounter, that there have been changes both at uh, the top and the bottom half of the table. That's the most surprising uh, fact. It's it's disappointing and it's just a, it's a trend that's happening all over the world. It's just not in India, it's everywhere. This is sent in! Oh. Edmar finds the equaliser! Would you believe it? If Edmar was going to score, then the least likely source would exactly what has happened. A game of glorious uncertainties. Edmar has ridden that cross perfectly. Well, that was a lot more difficult chance than he had in the first half. You can see there the players looking at each other. But that was a great cross. Sergei making up. You can see getting it in. And Edmar jumping above the defender. That's a great finish. Heading it back across the face of goal. That's what he should have done in the first half. Did it in the second. That's a great effort. Possibly just a bit of a deflection as well from uh, Evans there, but a perfect attempt, and that's uh, exactly what you uh, deserve for that. Bernard, in fact, there. Yeah, not the best of, uh, not much of a challenge played by put in by Bernard there. He allowed Edmar to jump, and he didn't jump at all. Keeper caught in no man's land. Probably would have been better off staying on his line. If you're going to leave, you got to go out and get the ball, and he didn't do either. Well, suddenly the road just gets a little rockier for uh, Mumbai FC and Khalid Jamil. Uh, they were uh, 18 minutes away. I wonder whether the teams will start thinking about not losing rather than trying to win. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, well, well, well. Not if uh, this man has something to do with it. Yet another fine finish by Edmar Figuera. Well, he wasn't scoring many to begin with, but now that he's found his scoring boots, he's making hay while the sun shines. Lee has maybe could have done a little bit better. It wasn't too far away. I know he got one hand to it. So we'll see that in the replay. But Edmar adding to his goal tally. Cross played in there. Edmar completely unmarked. Yeah, I think I think Lee has, when he looks at that replay, will be a little bit disappointed with that. Gets one hand to it, maybe a little bit slow to get down. But he has to also be asking some questions of his defenders. Where are the central defenders there? Why is Edmar, the leading goal scorer for Pune, completely unmarked? Yes, uh, there were three uh, orange jerseys around him, but none of them was putting enough pressure, which is why he got so much uh, levitation, so to speak. And Edmar is uh, going to be taken of off. Fine headers, which made up for the earlier mistakes in the first half. Well, he's done his job. He's done his job. What? Yeah, scoring two goals. Two vital goals for Pune, both with his head. This is the second of them, sorry, the first of them, rising above the defender. Great ball in from Sergei, and that's the second, one from each side. Two well taken goals. Edmar Figuera, no doubt, uh, the man who made the most difference uh, today. He'll be probably disappointed that he didn't get a hat trick there because he had that great chance or two good chances in the first half. Ironically, all of them. Edmar, congratulations. How do you feel after today's win? Thank you. I think uh, we worked hard just two weeks for this game. If you, you, if you work hard, I think the, the result is coming in the ground. No? This is Pune FC's first season in the uh, I-League. What do you think are the targets and how do you think they have performed according to you? I think we can make it every time better. No? We work hard in the ground for this and I think uh, from here we go only up. No? And can you tell us something in Portuguese for your fans? 
Muito obrigado pela audiência. All right, thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much. So am I still waiting for this world to stop hating? Can't find a good reason, can't find hope to believe in.